Hello, my name is Cara Lane. I play Mrs. Danvers in Rebecca. This is Lauren. Hi. She plays I. We're, um, we share a dressing room, so we'll be taking over um, the Instagram today uh, for this account, and we're very much looking forward to it. Hell Yay! Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the first thing, the most important thing of the day is Lauren and I get into our dressing room, and there's these horrible lights here, but Lauren runs around Speedy time, turning on all the ambient lighting. <laughs> there we go. No more fluorescent lights for us. No. Hello. So funny story, actually. I um, I've been really, really fortunate this year with some um, amazing jobs and doing things that I've I've never done before. One of which was filming a movie, and I got cast in this film a day before I had to then fly to Panama where we were filming it and um, my uh, so everything kind of I got the role and then I had a day to organize everything from doggy daycare to rearranging the next um, three weeks of my life to you know sorting out visas and all that kind of thing um, and during that day I got um, an audition through for Rebecca from my agent and because I was so overwhelmed and had so much going on, I kind of dismissed it. And I said to my agent, oh, I can't do a Cornish accent because they said um, a set in Cornwall and said, I can't do a Cornish accent, that'd be rubbish. And then she uh, she wrote back saying, uh, like three weeks later, she wrote back, hold on, part two, part two. Yeah, so three weeks later, they were um, still looking for someone and they wrote, and my agent wrote back saying, she doesn't need to be Cornish. And I was like, oh, okay. So I looked into it. I was actually on holiday down in Cornwall. Um, and I looked into it and I saw the Wait, Wait in the Wings documentary. Um, and then I looked up the Vienna version of Rebecca and suddenly I was hooked, absolutely hooked. And I um, obsessed over it for the three days that I was on holiday, learning the songs and reading as much information as I could trying to read the book trying to cram the book um and then i had to get from cornwall to my audition um and uh, and i cut the the holiday short drove to tried to drive to london the car broke down had to sleep in the car overnight <laughs> um and then got to the audition the next day with no sleep whatsoever and um auditioned and then i was really really fortunate to be offered the role and then we started rehearsals a week late a, a week later so it was very last minute Rebecca. Well, Mrs. Danvers would win. She's quite talented with a flamethrower. Um, definitely Favell would lose because he's all talk. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have prepared for this question and I have pictures. Um, first choice is Katie McGrath who plays like Morgana and Merlin. <laughs> and the other one is Ava Green. Striking Members women. of the Rebecca Company, this is your call. Oh, you have 15 minutes. That's oh. 15 minutes. <laughs> So we actually have our own Rebecca because I walked in the first day of rehearsals and walked up to Mel, who's my alternate, and I just jokingly said, oh my God, are you playing the role of Rebecca? <laughs> you didn't. I did. <laughs> she's perfect for it. Oh, um, she's exactly yeah. why. But imagine. what I really love about it is um, there's a lot of people, including our composer, who thinks that Mrs. Danvers is a little bit of Rebecca. In terms, of, you know, he looked at, um, you know, he said to me on the opening night, he was like, I, you know, there were some moments where you were exactly how I imagined Rebecca to be, and that's, I, a lot of people think that maybe Mrs. Danvers is Rebecca, mm -hmm. and although that's not what we think, it's nice that there's like kind of that marrying, the merge kind of, the merge, and definitely Mrs. Danvers is wanting to continue Rebecca's legacy anyway. Especially at the end with the long hair, and you're like, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, thank you for asking this question. Um, there, there were a lot of challenging things about Mrs. Danvers, but I think the most important challenge that I enjoyed was finding the balance between making her human and making her the iconic monster that she is. Um, but, you know, all of her vindictiveness and her cruelness comes from the immense pain and hurt that um, she has from Rebecca's death 
um, and the romanticized ideas that she has of Rebecca and maybe an unrequited love um, that she, you know, she feels like she never got what she ever wanted from Rebecca maybe. Um, so yeah, finding that pain um, and making it real, that's probably the most challenging bit. Uh, yeah, so thank you for asking. Hi, so um, it's actually Lauren that did this research. <laughs> Apparently Mrs. Danvers' first name is Bridget, and I like that, so I'm going with it. And um, eyes is Gabrielle, which is um, supposed to be like Gabriel, like the angel. Um, and it's all because, I think it's online somewhere, but there's um, a letter that a fan wrote to her being like, what are the first names? And she went, oh, so it would have been. <laughs> That's Daphne de Maurier, by the way. Oh, we love, oh yeah, I need to explain my thought process. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm stupid. But yeah, Daphne You're de Maurier is stupid. brilliant. <laughs> She's, <laughs> She's a genius. She okay. is. Keep eating. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so the biggest challenge for I, I think, is the beginning of Act 2. Um, it's incredibly difficult because the character gets in such a dark place, like very dark, and you have to balance that because if you don't you end up being a crying mess um and you have four songs to sing in a row sorry <laughs> mrs it, danvers <laughs> she just appears in the mirror say mrs danvers three times um <laughs> but yeah um there's like four songs one after the other and i don't get to really go off stage so i don't get any water um thankfully we've incorporated water into one of the songs but yeah, that's really difficult to sing four songs when you're dehydrated and need that water. Um, yeah, very emotionally demanding as well. So favorite moment on stage um, is when, so Richard, who plays the wonderful Maxim de Winter, um, he is looking out and he goes, I'm gonna try not spoil it, but it, oh, I can't not, not spoil it. It's gonna spoil it. Yeah. You have to come and watch and then we'll tell you what it is. <sighs> But there's a scene near the end of the show where Richard's looking out and he goes, that's, that's Mandalay. And it goes on the electric guitar and I freaking love it. And I have to stop myself from smiling because I'm not allowed to be happy in that part of the show. <laughs> but it's the, I love electric guitar. I love it. So <laughs> uh, I think my favorite bit that I enjoy performing is actually the end of the show. Uh, Rebecca Fall, um, because I love I love a challenge and I love gritty roles and this little bit. It's only short, but the little bit is um, everything. It's it's difficult to sing, um, and I get really emotional. It's like therapy every day. <laughs> like let it all out. Um, get really emotional. Um, and then what other bits do I like? Well, obviously I love the main Rebecca at the end um, of that singing that beautiful harmony with, um, well, not so beautiful, it is beautiful, but it's a bit crazy, um, harmony with um, Lauren. Um, there's so many other bits. Backstage, oh, I love the last bit. Um, after the show, I can allow myself to have some chocolate. Yeah, and that's, thank you. That's my favorite bit. Yeah, yeah, and Lauren thank you. No, I haven't seen Vienna, but I booked last night to go in December. You what? Yeah. I'm just. What? Yeah. Do you want to go? Yes, please. Yes. Can we go? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. This is my brooch, otherwise known as a cameo. Real diamonds, a hand-me-down from my mother. And then I have my pocket watch. gift from Rebecca. For this one I shall hand you over to Frith. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. For my employee of the month I'm going to give it to my protege Robert. Well done Robert you. and your prize is of course the candelabra. Wow what an honour. Thank you sir. Thank you. You're sir. welcome. Thank Keep you, up sir. the good work. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank, you. thank you. Rebecca would have faked her own death and come back to Mandalay to live happily ever after with Mrs. Danvers. There is no other perfect ending. 
Okay, we've just finished the show. So um, there's actually loads more questions that I didn't get around to answering. But thank you so much for all the questions. And um, yeah, and please feel free to follow my Instagram account or Lauren's or any of the cast. (laughs) (laughs) I really really got to warn you. (laughs) Anyway, thank you so much. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye.